76 centimeters, 30 inches, two and a half feet. That's how big the blood clot was in Jerry Kuna's body. I just couldn't imagine two and a half feet of clotting. It was deep vein thrombosis, or DVT. A clot that forms in the deep veins of the leg. You can see how swollen Jerry's leg got. The clot went from below his knee to his lower abdomen. The traveling salesman was in trouble. I could hardly walk. I was in such horrible pain. There was a serious chance of pulmonary embolism. The clot could break off, enter his lungs, and kill him. So in this letter... I have always loved you, Abby. He told his wife goodbye. I will always be near you. But she didn't have to read it thanks to this. I inserted through the skin into the clotted vessel. The echo system goes into the leg and through the blockage to deliver clot-busting medication like other catheter devices. But the echoes adds ultrasound. Dr. Warren Sweet says the vibration better penetrates the clot, making it easier to dissolve. It cuts down the time and the amount of clot-busting medication that we, that we need. He tells us it requires half the time and half the medication of similar procedures, making it safer for patients, like Jerry, who can't handle high doses of clot-busting drugs. And so patients that may not have been a candidate before may be a candidate now. Today, Jerry's leg is back to normal, and he's back on the road. I could drive as many as three or 400 miles a week. Free of a monster clot that was slayed with these tiny wires. I was ecstatic. I'm Andrew McIntosh reporting.